guys, welcome back to Renee Rowena's channel. Today we're going to talk about 15 ways you can tell you're from the Caribbean. Before we get into the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn your post notification bell on so you'll be notified each time I post. And as usual, I'll be leaving links to my previous video in the description box below so you can go ahead and check those out. Also, comment section, let me know which part of the Caribbean you're from and shout out to you all. Hope you enjoy this video. Every Caribbean house is a silver Dutch pot. Number two, every Caribbean house has a pickle bottle. You know those glass bottles that they use to put pepper in, like your onion, your carrots, your pickle, your hot pepper, your uh, bell pepper, that pickle bottle, every Caribbean household has. You know your Caribbean if you have a scandal bag filled with scandal bag. You know those plastic bags? I recently um, was told that they banned scandal bags in Jamaica. I don't know about the rest of the Caribbean if, if um, that is also um, implemented, but um, yeah, I recently was told that they banned scandal bags from Jamaica. So the fourth one is every Caribbean listens to um, reggae music, calypso, soca, um, dance all, whether it's in your radio, at home, in your car, like you know your Caribbean if you listen to these kind of music. Every Sunday you have your rice and peas, whether it's rice and peas and chicken, rice and peas and cow foot, rice and peas and curry goat, just rice and peas and something. And every Saturday you have your bowl of soup, with a beef soup, um, cow foot soup, chicken foot soup, some kind of soup. Every Caribbean household has a bottle of Dettol in their cabinet, in their medicine cabinet. You know when you get a cut or something, they're just gonna put some on there and boy, it burns. It burns like hell. You know your Caribbean if you have a cabinet in your house filled with whether um, cutleries or glass, cups, plates. But what I would get is after somebody dead or we buy them and stock them up. Oftentimes we don't use them or only use them when we have visitors. Number eight. You know your Caribbean when your parents whip your ass with a leather belt. Oftentimes they will say, if you run a murder you so you can imagine you're staring at the leather belt and your parents or whoever's gonna give you that weapon is telling you don't run can you imagine that a waste coy ass every caribbean have their black cake and sorrel christmas time a uh, fruit cake where they blend the fruits and you know you mix your butter in your sugar and you know that sort of stuff yeah you know your caribbean if on a daily basis you're eating rice, yam, dumpling, banana, ackee, plantain, sawfish, and chicken. Jesus, Caribbean people love the chicken. Once you leave Jamaica, you're gonna farin. If you leave Jamaica to go Trinidad, you're gonna farin. If you leave Jamaica to go USA, you're gonna farin. If you leave Jamaica to go England, you gonna farin. Whether you leave to go Saint Lucia, you gonna farin. If you leave the Caribbean at all, you gonna farin. Once you leave, you gonna farin. You know your Caribbean if it's okay to go borrow some salt from your neighbor or to go beg some sugar from your neighbor. Bianca, tell Mr. Brown me borrow some sugar. Lashan, tell Jadine me beg her some salt. Caribbean parents and their children are the best when it comes to telepathy. They communicate with no words. Your parents will catch you doing something and they don't have to open their mouth for you to know that you're doing something wrong. They can just give you that look. Their mouth is not open, but it's just like you can tell what they're saying. I'm going to give you some licky boy. And believe me, when you get that look, you just know you have to stop doing whatever you're doing. It just means to stop immediately. You know your Caribbean when your parents tell you to wash the dishes, run back, and you leave the pot in there soaking with water. 
So you wash all the plates and the cups and the spoon and the fork, everything, but you leave the pot of soak. You know your Caribbean when tea solves all your problems. And Vicks, Vicks Vapor Rub. Why me head hurt me? Drink some tea. My belly it hurt me. If you did drink the tea this morning, why me feel like me I got faint? Rub him up with some Vicks, rub him with some Vicks. Me tell you if you drink some tea. My throat sore, me I catch fever. Rub him with some Vicks and give him some tea. Please let me know in the comment section below other reason that you can tell that someone is from the Caribbean. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below where in the Caribbean you're from. Bye, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.